marketing your pins on demand designs is not just a way to make sales instantly, it's a great way to make them sell consistently. So print on demand platforms see it like this. There is 100 designs in the Valentine's niche for example, all of them have zero sales. If one design made a sale from somewhere which is from marketing, that print on demand platform will rank that design in the first place in that keyword. And each time a new buyer comes look for Valentine's design, he will see that design first which means more chances of making the sale. So the point of marketing is not only bringing sales and making profit instantly, it's a long term investment for your designs to make sales organically without you having to keep marketing for them every time. And all the print on demand platforms have this concept whether on Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble or Tpublic, they show in the top the designs that have been sold. Doesn't matter from where they got the sale, if it's sold enough in a niche, it will be in the top. Now how to market your designs? Well there's a lot of marketing strategies, today I will cover the Pinterest method and in future videos I'll cover more unique ways to market your designs, so subscribe to be the first to watch them. Now I don't have to introduce Pinterest, a great platform with over a billion monthly visitors in different niches, just make sure to sign up with a business account by clicking business in the top, then next enter your email, password and birth date and complete the other questions, doesn't matter what answers you put. And obviously put all of your informations here. Now click the Pinterest logo and choose trends and you will be able to see what is trending right now on Pinterest, obviously Valentine's Day is around the corner, but as you know Valentine's Day is only 14 February, only one day. If you remember I said earlier that we wanna market the niches that are gonna sell organically and consistently throughout the year. So what I recommend you is to take advantage of the trend and sell a design that is related to the trend and in the same time evergreen that can sell all the year round. What do I mean by that? Good question. For example in this Valentine niche I could make a design like this, Valentine vibe. Oh my god, wait a second, this 1000 sales and no reviews and only uploaded 25 days ago, that is crazy. But anyway, for example, if I designed for this niche and get sales using Pinterest marketing that I will show you exactly how later. So after Valentine ends, this design will stop getting sales. You gotta wait until the next Valentine's on 2025, you get what I mean. But if I make a design like love you more the end I win, this will sell in the period of Valentine's day and keep selling next month and the month after without waiting for next Valentine's. Well, to prove this, I will use Helium 10 extension to track the BSR change. Take this niche for example, that have Valentine on the t-shirt. Sorry ladies, mommy is my Valentine. This is Helium 10 extension that shows the BSR of exact uh, time period. If I click on one year to see how the t-shirt performs outside of Valentine's period, you could see that after Valentine's end, the t-shirt stopped selling as well. The BSR is only going up, so there is no sales. And you can see the little drop here from 1 million BSR to 100,000. And the closer Valentine is, the more the BSR goes down, so currently it's on 14,000. So you don't want this type of niches when you do marketing. Now if I go back to the other example, love you more the end I win, this is targeting Valentine's Day of course and in the same time will keep selling the rest of the year. If I check the BSR changes the last year, you can see the BSR is going up and down, up and down. And obviously when Valentine's is closed, the more sales it gets. This works with other events as well, you got Father's Day, Mother's Day, Earth Day, you name it. But one thing to consider is that most of the Pinterest customers who are looking for shirts are females, so make sure your niche is targeting them. Now once you create the design and upload it to Amazon or Etsy or any print on demand platform, you should not create normal pins that links directly to the product or the t-shirt we're selling, like most of the people do. Everyone just make a pin with the design and expect to make hundreds of sales. This was working maybe a couple years back, but the competition in Pinterest now is high. You will not be unique with this method anymore. So the perfect way I found useful is to write an article about your niche convincing people to buy your t-shirt or the product. How? Well you gotta use Medium, you know Medium the big articles platform. So we're gonna make an article on Medium, then linking it to the Pinterest pin instead of linking directly to the product. That way you're gonna benefit from both Pinterest traffic and Medium traffic as well to maximize the chances of making sales. I know you're a bit confused now but let's put this in practice. Let's say I wanna promote this design, love you more, the end I win. What's the article should be about? So as you probably know a lot of t-shirts get sold as gifts, especially in the events like this one, gift for boyfriend, gift for girlfriend, valentine, gift idea. We usually use these keywords in our listings to bring up sales the normal way, the organic way. So an article about gifts will be a good read to let people check out your products. Now in medium click on write, after of course you create an account. So the title of the article will be like top 5 t-shirt gift ideas for valentine's day. And to get an article you could use chat gpt and type in for example write me an article for this title top 5 gift ideas 
ideas for Valentine's Day, convincing people to buy these five shirts in Valentine or something like that. I'm just showing the example you can do much better. And this is the article, but one thing you should know is that Medium can detect the AI written content. We are gonna use this website AI text converter to make it sound like a human. I'm gonna copy the chat GPT result and go and paste it right here. Enter the numbers, it's a captcha, and click convert. And it will start converting the article to look like a human who wrote it. So I'm gonna copy this part to make it like the introduction of the article and go ahead and paste it here. Then you should add the mockups of your design. Let's screenshot this one and upload it like this. Then describe the design or you could just copy your listing and use it, also works. And to add the link of your product, let's type in click here to buy it now. Okay, select the full text and choose the icon to add a link. Let's grab the Amazon link and go back and paste it here and etc. The article is about 5 t-shirt gifts so make around 5 designs in different niches and add them here as well. Also consider making like a thumbnail for the article so also people from Medium itself can check it out. So in Kittle here I will search for Valentine to get the templates related and let's see what we can use. Alright, this one looks fine. I will change the text love your life to gift ideas and remove the date and it's ready just download it from up here you can start designing for free on kittle by the way the link will be in description and i will add the image to the article just under the title before the introduction and when your article is ready hit publish and make sure to select the image you made as the preview image and publish now just like that the article is published of course you gotta add more designs just don't add a lot to not make the customer confused keep it between like three to seven maybe now you have to market the article with pinterest go to your profile and click Click create pin and upload the same image that we made earlier. The title copy the same one as the article. For description copy the first couple lines of the introduction. And the link copy the article's link. You could add a board so everything can be organized. Let's call it uh, Valentine's Day. And the tags here are important. We gonna get them from Pinterest trends page. So these keywords currently are getting searched heavily on Pinterest. See what you think can be related to the t-shirt and copy it. And use it as a tag like Valentine's gift for boyfriend. Valentine's gift so pretty much that's the idea not a quick marketing strategy it takes time and believe me if you put in the work and apply it with different niches you will definitely make sales also if you want to receive 10 winning print on niches every monday subscribe to my newsletter in the description totally free